Welcome to a short presentation on billing for retention with Sage 100 contractors. Let's walk through the steps. First thing we're going to do is release the retention for the job. You should know that the retention is, is stored by invoice in each of the invoices you've sent your uh, client. So we'll, walk, we'll do that and then we'll print a statement for the job. If it helps to relabel the statement and give it the title retention billing and if that makes the money easier to collect then by all means do so. I'll show you how to do that. So first task we're going to open up the job in 3.5. We're going to find the job. In this case, it's going to be 186. has a current rate, a retention rate of 10%. That has been automatically put into the invoices thus far. We'll change that to zero. And then we'll go up to the update and we'll say recalculate retention. It'll ask us what the due date is for those invoices now, and I'm going to put in 09, 15, and 12. And I have a couple of choices in here as to which invoices get recalculated, either the ones with retention or all of them. So I recalculate, found one that needed to be done. Then I move out to statements. And I print a job statement for job number 186. I have lots of things that I can do over here, including paid invoices and payment histories. Uh, that's up to you. You can experiment with how that works. I'll print that to the screen so we can see it. It asks me when uh, I want to do my agings from. I'm going to say from 0915. And here we see a statement and it's got invoice numbers. Notice the first couple up here were just retention only. Here is the retention for each of these and this is my last invoice. Some of these larger ones you can see have had payments on those and what's left is the retention. It ages those and it tells me that the client uh, owes us sixty-seven thousand and two dollars and thirty-eight cents. I've got an original contract amount with changes and everything else. It should make it very easy for them to pay this and send us a check. Now, if it's a little too difficult for them to swallow the word statement, let's go back here and we're going to. We have this statement that came out of the box and we're going to say edit form design and the first thing we're going to do is save it and we're going to put it in the appropriate directory and we're going to call this the managed right so i'm going to leave the statement dot statement job there and i'm going to call this the managed right statement job. Save it. And I'm just going to simply go up here, double click so that I can get to the text and type in retention billing. Place this over here a little bit. Save it again as the manage right statement. Close this up. And if I look at my drop down now, I have our new statement, same job, print again. And now I have a retention billing. Let's let you take a look at the entire deal. Um, again, that's pretty simple and straightforward. Makes it pretty easy to go ahead and bill for your retention. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to know more about this, please give us a call at CFO on the go and you see the 800 number here.